Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Libra, I want to give you guys a quick update. We're going to be releasing the Pendulum gift box. Um, I believe it drops Friday, May 21st, 2021. Yes, Friday of next week, um, May 21st. Um, we only did a limited amount. You guys know that I like to personalize everything. These are pendulums that have been ritualized, consecrated uh, through ceremonial uh, rites that are specifically for you to communicate and deal with your spirit guides and your ancestors. So um, if you're interested, like I said, we did a limited amount. We're going to be releasing 50. So it's first come, first serve. Um, and what it is, obviously you guys know what a pendulum is. If you don't, maybe this is not for you, but for those of you guys that are interested, it comes with a necklace that is ritualized as well. And with a vial that comes with crystals and herbs, um, to be able to help you open up and channel the communication more clear and to keep obviously bad spirits away, only dealing with your spirit guides and your ancestors. Okay. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Like I said, it's going to be releasing on Friday, May 21st. We only have 50 that are going to be going up. So definitely check that out. Okay, let's get into your reading, Libra. And before you guys start judging, <laughs> just ignore my nails, you guys. We have been so busy. We have a ton of new things coming. I will be announcing as we get closer uh, a whole bunch of... Uh, things that are going on right now as well as uh, spell work that we've been dealing with and a bunch of consultations for those of you guys that have been trying to get consultations we are definitely responding we are definitely booking a lot we're now booking for june and july so if you're trying to get a consultation definitely hit us up we are going through our emails and dms uh we've been booking a ton so just letting you guys know okay Let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of May 2021 in regards to love and romance. So we're going to be pulling out cards for you. Then we're going to be using another deck for the person of your interest or the person that you may be dealing with. Let's see what Spirits have for you guys. Spirits, please give us a clear indication of what is unfolding for Libra, Sun, Moon, um, sun, moon Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. All right, so we have the first card that popped out, Ten of Pentacles, maybe dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, let's get into it. Your next card here is the Two of Swords, the Devil card. Okay, you guys may be dealing with a Capricorn. Aries Energy here, Two of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. Libra. All right, so... What I'm seeing here for you guys is you're definitely contemplating um, commitment or longevity when we're talking about relationships. I feel that in the past you've been a bit stuck or a bit too much in your head when dealing with other people. Like when we're talking about relationships, um, they are there. There were certain type of toxic traits about the persons that you've been used to dealing with and i feel that you're you refused to acknowledge that for some of you guys you could have been dealing with um an ex-partner or someone from your past that was a long-term committed relationship with the ten of pentacles here um and it made you feel stuck it made you feel like you couldn't move forward you weren't seeing uh the connection progress or to even heal from certain experiences that you have lived in that relationship with the devil card for some of you guys it was understanding or coming to the realization that there was a lot of toxic energy in this connection so for some of you guys it could be that you're still dealing with the situation and there's almost like a feeling of knowing um that there is a cycle that you need to end in order to move forward there is growth and spiritual growth they're also telling me so for some of you guys it could be that you were dealing with a person that you've been committed to for quite a while um for some of you guys you are walking towards some type of enlightenment or some type of knowing there's like a discovery that's happening within you um and it's acknowledging that 
you know, the person or partner that you've been dealing with or have dealt with in the past was very toxic. So this gave you the understanding, the deeper understanding of what it is that you want from a relationship. Now with the magician card here, you have the full potential to manifest a soulmate type of connection. That's if you haven't already met a person uh, that is from your soul tribe. So this is a deep connection. This is almost like an alignment for some of you guys. Now, they are telling me for some of you guys that have uh, experienced the connection like within the past four months, okay? So from now moving to the past four months ago, there could have been some type of connection. It could have been with an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or it could have been specifically with a Virgo or with an Aries or with a water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, if there was some type of connection with a person four months ago, up until now, so this is recent, um, that you could have felt very drawn to, you felt like you guys were either vibing or being on the same type of frequency, it wasn't in your head. Um, I feel that it, this was mutual. It was reciprocated. That energy, that connection was definitely felt. But I feel that for some of you guys, other things kind of sidetracked you. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, and this is slow in movement. So it could have been a situation where you kind of were feeling or vibing someone, and then certain things happen. It could have been that that other the person that you've been dealing with or interested in was dealing with the toxic energy or it could have been that someone in your surroundings that is extremely toxic kind of distracted that connection um this could be friends this could be relatives this could be like drama in your home that kind of pulled you away from that connection but with the knight of pentacles i see you guys coming back around trying to reconnect or this is spirit's way of bringing you guys together again to see the the promise that is there to be able to manifest something that is genuine and long term. Um, this is definitely uh, with the magician and the two of cups. I'm feeling like you guys have called each other into each other's lives. So it could have been a situation where you kind of knew exactly what it is that you were looking for in a partner. The other person was also dealing with that type of energy or they know exactly the type of partner that they want. It could have been like like some type of meeting that was you feel like it was accidental, but in reality it was kind of predestined because I see like you guys kind of hoping or wishing upon a star at the same time. So that's my interpretation of you guys both have manifested each other into each other's lives. And although it may feel like it didn't move forward or things didn't pick up or it just didn't go anywhere because we do have the devil card here. It could be that you're working through some of your shadow energy. It could be that you are shedding the old you or working on releasing certain toxic traits about yourself. And this person as well could have been going through some type of healing or they could have been dealing with a karmic connection or someone that was extremely toxic. Um, but I do see that there is a reconnection or a reunion that is going to be happening in the next coming weeks. So let's see what your person or person of interest, let's see how they're viewing the situation. Spirit guys, please give us clear indication of Libra's person of interest or the person they're dealing with at the present how they're viewing the situation. Yeah, I feel very strongly for some of you guys. Like, if you already met this person, and we go back to that of like four months ago. So four months ago is the timeline that they're giving me. It could have been before. It could have been a little bit after that. Um, but if there is someone in, you have someone in sight. Um, and you felt this strong connection. I feel very strongly like you kind of were intimidated by their presence or intimidated by the connection. You could have felt overwhelmed. You could have felt like, I don't know, I see you very much in your head trying to figure out um, 
could be that this person has a very strong personality. <laughs> okay. We have the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, the Angel, the Newt, okay, the Four of Pentacles, the Star card, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So I definitely see them like wondering what happened with that connection. Nine of Wands could be almost a feeling of having to guard themselves. Um, it could have been almost like, I, I see them like, I don't know why I keep getting like you're in your head and they're in their head. So if you're feeling this strong connection or this strong pull towards someone and for some reason it, it almost seems like destiny kind of pulled you guys apart, the reason for that is because both of you guys need to work on certain aspects of your life right now that have nothing to do with love. But it's kind of like you have manifested each other. So you will be coming together. I do see the Hierophant here. And um, yeah, I feel very strongly like this can actually, there is a, there is a promise here that if nurtured, this can turn into something long-term Libra. With the Four of Pentacles, you're guarded. I, f I feel very heavily here with the Nine of Wands. Like this person could be very guarded um, or like they have a very strong personality. Uh, and the reason why they have the strong personality, it's like a facade. With the Four of Pentacles, they're just protecting themselves. So it could be a person that has experienced a lot of heartbreak or a lot of difficulties in love. And it's almost like it's a defensive mechanism. However, with the star card, you're being illuminated. I feel that both of you guys are being drawn together or brought together again with the seven of pentacles, revisiting the past or having the opportunity to revisit the past and to be able to focus in that connection. Um, Hierophant and the star card is definitely illumination. It also speaks about kind of your paths, um, it's almost like a collision is what I'm seeing. So for some of you guys, you have both have manifested each other in each other's lives. Or for others of you, it's almost like there's some type of admiration or some type of respect that this person possesses that could have been a bit intimidated. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that is highly respected. For others of you, it could be a person that gets a lot of attention or that a lot of people like I wouldn't for some, it could be that they are public, like um, they work in the public field or they deal with a lot of people um, or, you know, they, they just there's something about them that really draws people in. Uh, this could be a person that gets a lot of attention. But again, with the four of pentacles, I see them extremely guarded. So I don't think they open up very easily to anyone. So if you felt like it was in your head, it wasn't. <laughs> the connection is there. And I feel like you guys are going to be colliding again. You guys are going to be bumping into each other again at some point. And you're going to have the opportunity to really focus on each other's connection and get to know each other. So again, I feel like this is not done. I feel that you guys have been working through something that has to do with karma, uh, releasing certain you know, partners from the past or no longer dealing with the past to be fully able to embrace this new beginning. Uh, again, the stars, you know, the planet alignments kind of aligning right now, uh, bringing to you this manifestation that you've been hoping or praying for or that has already manifested. So be patient and again, try the best you can when this does, when this union does happen, try to be very receptive, meaning if you're interested in them, um, don't shy away from letting them know only because four of pentacles, I feel like this person could be restricted in the sense of they're not going to easily open up unless they feel like you're genuinely authentically trying to connect with them. OK, and also don't be intimidated if this person does get a lot of attention. I feel that that doesn't matter because this person doesn't really pay attention to that. It's almost like you have to really put effort in order to in order for this person to really open up. And for some of you guys, this could be a person that comes off extremely like strong or a person that um, could be a bit standoffish. But I feel that deep down inside, they're a big softy or they are very much in tune with their, you know, with, with their female and masculine energy. So I feel that this is a person that is extremely mature. 
Um, but definitely beautiful reading, Libra. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoy, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.